Crohn's disease is a type of inflammatory bowel disease, also known as IBD. It is a lifelong condition that causes parts of your digestive system, also known as your gastrointestinal tract, or GI tract for short, to become inflamed. With Crohn's disease, the inflammation can go right through the entire thickness of the intestinal wall. While there are several medications available to help control your Crohn's disease, there is no one-size-fits-all treatment for everyone. Because each person's Crohn's disease is different, the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America is here to help. We offer education, support, disease tracking tools, and other resources that can help you effectively manage your disease. We also have an IBD Help Center with information specialists that are standing by on the phone or web to give you the guidance and support you need to stay healthy. To learn more, contact CCFA today by visiting www.ccfa.org. Hi, uh, I'm William Gustin, Dr. William Gustin. I'm Danielle Ryan, one of the nurses here at SSGA. Um, we're having a car show today to benefit Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. Um, thank, thank you guys for coming out. This, uh, basically, this event started at the suggestion of a patient talking to Daniel's husband, who's one of our infusion nurses at our endoscopy center, and it kind of morphed out, and we've got tremendous support from patients, from the community, and thank you guys for coming out to make it a success. As you know, it's for a really good cause, which is Crohn's and colitis, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, are inflammatory bowel type diseases that affect millions of people, can be very debilitating, and it's something that's very important that needs to be treated. And that's what we specialize in. We have an IBD home that has been created over the years that provides specialized care to patients. And we're actually part of several national uh, associations and research programs which help us to facilitate the care that we provide to patients. Yeah. We do, um, we do full endoscopic procedures and we try to take care of all patients' needs in an efficient, timely fashion. Um, it's been it's a wonderful event today. Uh, a lot of our, our patients have come to support us. Um, we've networked out in the community and it's amazing how many lives are impacted by Crohn's and colitis. Um, so everybody has got a story to tell and is here to help support the this, support this. us. There we have food vendors here. We have vendors. Come on over, Wendy. This is Wendy. This is, this is She's Wendy. one of our organizers as well. Hi guys. And uh, excuse me, I got to answer a phone call. Um, <laughs> just tell them what's here. Um, we have off the hook. We have jam and juice. We have having a meltdown. We have a hot dog vendor. We have Adirondack only cokes to do donuts. Nine miles east. And it's a huge amount of vendors from my jewelry booth, Strength Security, and Taste of the Simple, and there's too many to name. We have various car clubs here. We have Vets in Perfection, the local Porsche Club of America, uh, the Mopar Chrysler Club, the Adirondack A's. In fact, uh, we have a, a support group from DePaula Chevrolet over here, and also New Country Porsche that have all come about. Okay. Basically, uh, support a really good cause, and this is again, it's all for charity. So we really appreciate all the help and assistance. Uh, this is my 1965 Corvette, which my father and I spent three years restoring and putting together out of boxes, basically. Um, I got into cars because he's been in the automobile business his whole life, and nobody believed I'd become a doctor. They all thought I'd go into the automobile venture, but um, I really bit the bullet by uh, a neighbor of mine who inspired me to become one of those old-fashioned doctors. So I put my heart and love into that, and this is my hobby, my, my passion on the side. And uh, again, this is a 1965 Corvette, completely restored. Did it with my dad, so it, it really has a personal connection to me. So this is Danielle's car. Danielle is our nurse who uh, basically just uh, spoke to you. Um, this is her and her husband's labor of love, and they go out and they enjoy it. They travel several hundred miles a year in this, and they get lots of pleasure and joy from it when they're not working and helping to treat patients. This is Sam, who's representing New Country Group today from New Country Porsche, who was nice enough to bring all these beautiful brand new cars 
And again, it just shows uh, the commitment and the partnership that we have with the community to help come together for such a good cause, such as Crohn's and colitis. Yes, thank you for having us. Uh, uh, we came today to help support um, a great cause with the community. Um, you know, I know some uh, people that have Crohn's disease and it's really difficult on them. And, you know, we just love supporting the community and being a part of the car community as well. I would like to formally introduce the general manager of Porsche Clifton Park, Christian Trujillo, um, and he will be explaining some other extra specs on the Panamera. Of course, how are you? Guys, uh, well, you know, as we're setting up here, of course, for an awesome shot and an awesome day, um, the Panamera is just very different than anything else in the market. It's all Porsche. So when you're asking what separates it from the other Porsches, the four doors, it's a sedan, but it's a sports sedan, and it really is the true sports sedan in the market. With the engine mounted behind the front axle, the wheelbase wider than most of its competitors, the track also being wider, it gives it a, a performance factor that the other cars just don't have. So when you look at it and you see that the wheels are actually further towards the corners, you can understand the concept of how it compares to like a Cayman, a 911, um, and even our Macan does the same thing. So that's why the car handles so incredibly well, and it has you know different engine configurations ranging from a Panamera 4 with 330 horsepower this is a 4S with 440 you could do a turbo with 550 you could do a turbo SE hybrid with 685 horsepower so it's it, it is pretty cool they also make a long wheelbase model of this which they call the executive which is seven inches longer in the rear um, so that you can ride in the back not that you don't already ride in the back in style with this but you can ride with more style so that's that's what makes the Panamera special it's a phenomenal machine so here we have the new 2019 Macan. It is brand new to the market. So we just had a release party at the dealership two Saturdays ago. So we wanted to bring it out here. We wanted to bring one out that made a statement in the beautiful sapphire blue. And it's getting a ton, a ton of love. You know, so you can see all the way around, you know, the differences where you have the, the rear lights with a three-dimensional LED design with the, with the stripe that goes all the way across, the nice light bar that goes all the way through. It looks modern and futuristic, you know, inside the vehicle. We have a new uh, infotainment system, uh, new really everything from the ground up. So the car came out back in 2014 as a 2015. So after five years of being a huge success for us out in the market, Porsche decided to redesign it. And this is the vehicle that we have. And much like the Panamera that we were looking at, you can see what makes it so special. Wheels to the four corners. It's got a nice little width to it. Um, and of course, braking, suspension, everything is the best of the best with Porsche. So we use Brembo brakes all the way around, whether you're looking at a 911 for us like we have right here, or a Macan, you have Brembo brakes. This also has a PDK transmission, so our Porsche double clutch transmission, just like our sports cars. So pretty, pretty phenomenal machine as well. So as a business, the reason that we decided to support this awesome car show is, is a number of things. So, you know, for me throughout the years, I've personally been impacted with intestinal issues. And actually this location, this endoscopy center, I actually just had a procedure here not long ago. And, you know, a lot of the, a number of the doctors here happen to be clients of ours and clients of mine personally. Um, so I think that the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation is an amazing foundation for really these diseases that not a ton of people know anything about unless they have them and then all of a sudden they're incredibly affected by them. Um, and for me personally, having been impacted by intestinal, um, I don't want to say diseases, but intestinal malfunctions in the past and you know having you know the, the great folks here you know, work on me like we work on their cars and do right by me and make me you know a better person. You know, we definitely wanted to support this, uh, you know, 100%. So from the moment that they told me about it, actually, I found out about it as I was in the table in here. The a bunch of the doctors were like, "Hey, we have the car show. I hope you're coming." I'm like, "Yeah, we'll definitely be there." Uh, so we always planned on being here. So it was, you know, our, our pleasure to be here. We're very happy to support it. So I'm Jake McCamon and I'm here today. I brought my 1965 Marcos. It's actually made entirely of wood and so 1 to 99 built that year. So what makes the Marcos really special is that this car is actually one of the cars that uh, Jackie or Robinson cut his teeth on. And uh, it's entirely made of wood, wood body, more wood than a Morgan. It has a Volvo engine, it's right hand drive, and I only know of about 20 in the States.
I'm here today supporting a great cause, the Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. And I personally uh, have IBD, so I know what it's like to go through with that. So I'm really happy to be out here, you know, help support, help find a cure, and help others, those who have it. So what's it like to have ulcerative colitis? I personally have an IBD. Uh, it can be an interruption to your day. You know, at work it makes things more difficult. You're constantly running off sometimes, sometimes unexpected, and sometimes for a long time. You could be out shopping, it might be an issue. So it's a little debilitating. Um, you know, there's a way to manage it. There's no real cure. So it's, it definitely impacts your daily life. So I have ulcerative colitis, and you know, you might have ulcerative colitis or Crohn's, and I just want you to know there's, you know, it's okay, go get checked if you think you might have some issues. If you do, there's support groups out there, there's places that meet, there's people you can talk to, home answer systems, there's an entire network of people out there. So I really encourage you to reach out and go find those people. Hi, I'm Doreen. I'm a car enthusiast. I brought my car here today, 1977 Mercedes 450 SL. Love bringing the car to car clubs and car shows and other events. It's fun to be around other like-minded people and um, look what they've done to their cars and see how they've um, accomplished maybe fixing it up or maybe they found something old and they've restored it and it's just a lot of fun and for me it's also forced relaxation. I sit here and I knit and I talk to lots of nice people. When we heard about the show, we were pretty excited because it's for a very good cause. Uh, my mother-in-law and my son are both um, they are both living, or have been anyway, with Crohn's and colitis, and I thought that this was a great way to show our support for a good foundation, and our doctor, um, who is here today, is a fabulous man, and I said, why not? It's a beautiful day, come on out, and let's share um, our car, and let people see you know, all the beautiful cars that are out there and on the road, and look at other people's cars. The show you are watching has been produced by SACC.TV. SAC TV is a not-for-profit organization that provides educational programming, seeking to enrich communities by producing shows on culture, science, health, the arts, and more. SAC TV is member-driven which means that we rely on donations, grants, underwriting, and volunteers to deliver quality content. SAC.TV has been in operation continually since 1974 and currently operates a full-time studio in Rotterdam, New York. In recent years, SAC.TV has produced over 500 community-driven programs that are all available to view free to the public on www.sac.tv, on demand 24 hours a day. SAC.TV also airs shows on local television, channels such as WNYT, my Four albany with programs like Do You Know the Muffin Man, Caught in the Crossfire, Scene TV, Tune in to Wellness Today, and The Janice Thompson Show. Check your local programming schedule or www.sac.tv for times and dates. In SAC.TV's mission to connect and inform communities and individuals, every week we're producing new shows. To be able to provide this service, we are in need of your help. There's a lot of ways you can help SAC.TV and in turn, help your community. Visit www.sac.tv. There you can click on Donate and select the contribution level of your choice. You can also help SAC.tv by sponsoring an ongoing program, volunteering behind the scenes, or even producing your own show. And as always, if you enjoy what you've seen, visit us on YouTube and Facebook. Subscribe, like, share, and pass the word around. For more information and to see the latest shows, visit www.sac.tv or contact us as director at sac.tv or by phone at 518-831-9145. For now, back to our program, and stay tuned for more great shows.
If you or someone you love has Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, it's easy to feel alone. But there are other people who share your experience. The Power of Two program matches you with a peer supporter based on your disease, age, medication, surgery type, and more. Over the phone, they can answer questions and help you better understand your experiences. Request a peer supporter today at Power of Two at Crohn's Colitis Foundation.org. I will be right back, and Jake's going to go switch with Dad to bring Dad to the news. Lieutenant Stephen Mudge, Burnt Hills Fire Department, live here in Burnt Hills. Uh, we decided to bring the fire truck out today to uh, get some community outreach, do it all for the kids. Uh, we do a lot for the community, so why not show our support and be out here for everybody. I'm Lieutenant Brian Acosta, also with the Burnt Hills Fire Department, and we'd love to come out here and help support the community as well. My grandmother was personally touched with Crohn's disease in 2008 and have struggled with it since and actually comes here to Saratoga Gastro um, and came here to support. Hi, good morning everybody. I'm Susan Farrigan. I'm a nurse practitioner with Saratoga Schenectady Gastroenterology and I've been with the practice for 18 years and I'm here selling jewelry that I make by hand and it's to benefit the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation and so we appreciate um, everybody's support. So I've been with the practice for 18 years, like I said previously, and I'm stationed at Saratoga Hospital and take care of all of our inpatients there. And we have a fantastic practice, and we're here at our endoscopy center and our office next door, our Burn Hills campus, and um, the group is fantastic to work for, obviously, because I've been with them for 18 years. So events like this are a lot of fun and we just hope to get a lot of people out here and to um, educate people on Crohn's and colitis and the importance of supporting, um, raising money to help find better treatments um, and hopefully someday a cure. Hi, I'm Carol Norfleet and I'm here at the Crohn's Colitis Car Show. It's an amazing day. We're doing great. I'm here to support them. I'm a volunteer helping them. My family has Crohn's disease. My dad, myself, my children have colitis. Many people don't know what it's like to have Crohn's disease. As a person with Crohn's disease, it's, it's been very traumatizing as a child. Um, as a child, you don't know when you're going to have to go to the bathroom, where you're going to be. And once you're diagnosed with it, and here is a place to be diagnosed, um, you can get on medication, you can get it under control. And that's the key to all of this, is getting your disease under control. Um, it's a blessing that this place is here. When I was a child, you, very, you didn't have many places to go. This is a nice place. They're helping my kids right now, and it, they're just doing an amazing job. Hi, I'm Gail Kuluzo. I'm an employee of the Gastro. We are here today to do something great. Um, I love what I do, so I figured giving back to the patients and giving back to people that have Crohn's and uh, alternative colitis is a great way to do so. Hi, yes, the Crohn's is like not well known when it first started. People didn't really understand it, but now with all the education and doctors are educating more, um, they're reaching out trying to find more cures to help people with Crohn's and the medicine that's out now is a really great way to start and our doctors are fabulous here for the Crohn's patients and all the colitis. We have a Remicade unit, infusion, um, we have everything up here in our Burn Hills office that we're here to help. We have a great staff and I've been here 11 years and I love it. Couldn't ask for a better place to work. 
Hi, I'm Roy Ryan. Uh, my wife is Danielle Ryan, one of the people who put on this uh, this great fundraiser for Crohn's and Colitis. Um, she works here for SSGA. Um, one day I was working here and I had a patient that came in and started, uh, we were talking about old cars and stuff, and he talked about how this place would have a great parking lot for a car show. He knew that I was uh, into cars. This is our 41 coupe, my wife Danielle and I. And uh, we started talking about it. I went home, talked to my wife. She brought it up to Dr. Gustin and this is what uh, it came of it. Fundraiser, uh, great turnout, first one. Extraordinarily happy with how many people are here, how many cars came to show up, and uh, hopefully this continues. We can keep doing it after, year after year, and it'll keep growing and and uh, provide some fundraising for a great cause. Um, the car I just purchased, uh, we bought it last spring. It's a 41 Chevy Business Coupe. Uh, we bought it to drive and enjoy. It does not sit at home idle. Uh, we take it out every chance we get, and. Uh, enjoy riding, going up to the lake and just cruising around. Hi, I'm Linda Winston. I'm the executive director for the upstate northeastern New York chapter of the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. And isn't this a wonderful event that the GI docs and staff at Saratoga Schenectady Gastro are putting on to benefit our foundation. The Crohn's and Colitis Foundation uh, is here to raise funds for a cure, an eventual cure, but definitely for better treatment modalities for our patients. We provide support and education for our patients and their families. Um, and we, we're a community, and this event is bringing the community together. Um, ask me what the foundation needs. The foundation needs money. Uh, we raise money for support, education, and research projects to eventually find a cure for the diseases, but also to uh, invest in uh, better treatment modalities for our patients. In the past, uh, I'd say four years, we've come so far with new uh, medications uh, to help our patients, and we've come so much closer to a cure than we did in the first 45 years with our business. Hi, and if you are a patient, or a patient's family, and you're impacted by Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, you can reach out to the Upstate Northeastern New York chapter at 518-608-5069 uh, to obtain information regarding support and education programs, uh, how you can get involved. We have different events going on all throughout the year uh, to uh, raise money for the um, for our mission, for our mission, I should say. And, um, and you can also go online to www.crohnscolitisfoundation.org. And we, our new website was just unveiled, and it's phenomenal. And there's a wealth of knowledge on the website for our patients regarding research, regarding physicians, regarding uh, educational pamphlets and materials that will help our patients and their families uh, learn more about the diseases and cope. I can't tell you how delighted I am at the great turnout that we've had here today. Ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease are two disorders that can affect the colon and possibly the small intestine as well. They can cause people to be very ill but with the treatments that we currently have, we can really help people with both of these conditions. So we're making great progress, and the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation is just wonderful, and we're very happy to support them. Well, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis are autoimmune conditions. We still don't know completely how people get them. There are a lot of different theories. Ulcerative colitis will predominantly affect the colon. Crohn's disease can affect the colon and the small intestine and people could be fairly ill, but with medication, most of our patients are, are, are functional and are able to get through regular activity. They just need treatment, and it is lifelong treatment. 
Hi, William Gustin again. Mark Adson. So we're two of the physicians here at Saratoga's Connecticut Gastroenterology, and we want to thank everybody for making today a tremendous success. Absolutely. Coming out and celebrating with us, spending the day. Absolutely. And hopefully next year, we'll do, it, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. Thank you so much. So Mark, a lot of people have asked me questions about Crohn's disease, you know, what they should be looking at, what symptoms, what they should do to get checked out. So obviously symptoms of abdominal pain, diarrhea, rectal bleeding, unusual weight loss. Honestly, we, we see patients with these symptoms all the time. Um, we do a workup, a thorough workup. We provide endoscopy, we provide all the services. We've got an IBD home center where we provide infusions, we take care of all the medications, and we really try to get all the prior authorizations so that it makes it easy for patients to get through. But if you've got any symptoms, like Dr. Adson and I said, weight loss, abdominal pain, diarrhea, even sometimes bloating, rectal, waking up in the middle of the night, Please call us, contact us, and we'll be happy to help you and try and figure things out. Thank you again all for your support. Thank you for helping to come out and make this day a great success. Absolutely. We're very thankful that uh, we've been able to support the Bones and Colitis Foundation with this event. Well, welcome back. I'm still trying to bake the muffins. But finally, finally, I think we're finished. I hope you enjoyed our show today. If you would like to make an order or donate muffins to charity, then please go to the website listed below. With every muffin order, we donate muffins to the charity of your choice. <laughs> I call it giving your dough to charity. I also encourage you to donate directly to the featured charity today by going directly to our website and getting their information. Thank you very much for watching and keep on dancing through life by giving to others through love. Let me finish baking these muffins and see you next time.